Hello, my name is Kirby Catcher, and today I am taking a break from fun posting to show you how to transfer your Persona 4 Golden saves from your PlayStation Vita to the newly released PC version. Now, this is mainly going to be following kind of the basis of a tutorial posted by you slash rotted rabbit again on Reddit, and I'll be using a tool created by you slash cfxxl to make things slightly easier a little bit in. I'll leave uh, the original post in the description as well as all the resources you'll need. Uh, one more thing, you will also need a homebrewed PlayStation Vita with Henkaku and Vita Shell. That in itself is a long process, but it's generally easy, so if you don't have a homebrewed Vita yet, I'll leave the official tutorial in the description and you can follow that and then come back here. So with that being said, let's get started. So first things first, you want to go to your Vita and you want to open up Persona 4 Golden. And basically what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be specifying the save files we want to transfer because we want to transfer the specific slots and we need to do a few setup things related to that. So here we are in the Vita version and we want to load game and then look at which ones we want to transfer. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I forgot I renamed it that. I was making a little bit of progress in the Vita before the PC version came out, so this is actually perfect for me. So anyways, uh, I want to transfer save file number two specifically and then uh, you can transfer as many save files as you want and you can also transfer the TV listings which I'll show you how to do as well uh, but just to show you that you can do multiple I'll also transfer save file 7 that's that Yasugami high after school 50 hours 50 minutes and basically we just kind of want to know what save files we want to transfer that being said let's go back to the PC version and then open that up So essentially what you want to do is you want to save in those slots you want to transfer on the PC version because you need to create a placeholder file for the game in order for you to transfer it properly. Uh, you need to get to a point in the game where you can easily save and the soonest you can do that is after Dojima drops you off temporarily from the gas station. You can get that easily in a few minutes if you just skip the cutscenes. But I'll just show you what I have here. I was playing for a little bit open up a save file over here and then we want to save so specifically save on save file 2 and save file 7 I already had here earlier but you need to do this yourself alright so let's hop back to the Vita once you have those slots filled in the PC version, you want to go to a Vita shell on your Vita, and then you want to go to the UX0 folder, and then right here we're going to create a folder to transfer our saves to just to make things easier to navigate later. So I'm going to press triangle, and then I'm going to go to new, new folder, and then let's name this uh, saves. Perfect. So now we want to navigate to those actual saves. So down here you want to go to user, 00, zero save data, and then you want to go to the folder for Persona 4 Golden, which will be this file folder right here, PCSE00120, that's the code for Persona 4 Golden. Click enter, and as you can see, uh, these are all our save file slots on Persona 4 Golden on the Vita. That being said, we don't want to touch these. Go back, and then on that folder, press triangle, and then you want to open decrypted. This, these will decrypt the files to make them readable by the PC. So then to find the folders, or find the save data we want to transfer, it was slot two, so I'm gonna press square to highlight that, and then slot seven. And then I'm also gonna transfer system bin, just to show you you can transfer the TV listings. So now that we have those highlighted, you want to put triangle, and then copy. We want to go back to uh, UX0 and then let's go to that saves folder we just created. So now they're in here, we're going to paste these and then perfect, we have these easily navigatable. So anyways, now that we have those there, we want to transfer them to the PC. So to do that, I'm going to use a FTP client. Uh, you can also do it over USB, but the files are hidden. If you don't know how to do this already, I'm just going to show you how to do it with the FTP version. So. Pressing start, just make sure it's on FTP, and then pressing select to open the client. With that open, I'm gonna hop back to the PC, and then we wanna use an FTP client. I'm just gonna show you the one I use, WinSCP, 
And then we want to basically connect to the Vita. So to do that, let's pull out that code that was open. It's right there. I want to go to FTP over here. And then let just like what was on the Vita. It's 192.168.0.7. Seventeen, and then make sure to put in the port number 1337 this will be different for you this is your local IP for, for click login and then you want to click OK for this just leave it blank and then now we have the folders that were open on our Vita so we want to go to, to that saves folder it's right here and then where to go saves here's the stuff we just transferred so I'm gonna move this to our desktop for easy access And there we go. It's right here. Sorry, I was doing this a little bit earlier to transfer some saves. All right, these are the folders, or these are the files we just pulled off. So now we need to do a few steps to get it working on the PC version. So I'm gonna go to my C drive. Uh, even if you have it installed on a different drive, this should still work. Uh, it should still be located on your C drive to transfer it. So C drive, program file, slash 86, and then we wanna find Steam. So then scroll down and then we'll find user data. Okay, I need to pause for a moment right here to make a quick correction. These folders right here are save data folders equivalent to different Steam accounts that have signed in your computer. You need to check each of these folders for a folder that is titled 1113000. Uh, the reason is basically depending on when you log in, you might generate a different code here. So if you don't go to the same folder that I do, that's perfectly normal. And then we want to go to the saves folder, which is right here, 1113000. Go to remote. And then you should see the slots are here for Persona 4 Golden on Steam. So I'm going to transfer these files we pulled from our Vita on here. And then we want to replace the files in that destination. So let me click, click refresh just so it's organized by number there. And we're not quite done yet, can't open the game yet. What we need to do is address these bin slot files, which hold data that specifically make this accessible to the game on the PC version. So you can manually enter the like hexadecimal digits you need to modify. There's some tools you can do that. There's HXD, but there's a tool made by that user I mentioned earlier that'll make it a lot easier. So here is the download folder I got, um, and then you want to extract it. And then there we go. So here's what I have. And then basically take those folders or those files you just put in here. So save slot number two, and then you just want to put it right over the exe file. If it blocks it, just click run anyways. And then I'll do that for the second slot. Now we want to do it again for the seventh slot, transferring the bin file. And then same thing for our systems.bin for our uh, TV listings, optional. All right, with that, we have it all set up. So if you have the game open, be sure to close it. We want to reboot it. And then now those files will be accessible from the main menu, but there's one more step we need to do just to make sure everything's stable. All right, open up the game, load game, and then let's go to those save slots. So let's start with number two. Right here, it'll show up as how it was before, but when you open it, you should get a Japanese error. That's lovely. I click enter on your keyboard, and then the game should boot up with all that data. So here was number two, 417 in Dojima's house. And then you wanna save over that file you just opened. So give it a second. All right, and as you can see, 68 hours, 41 minutes, and that's perfect. So let's open that other one. We do these for all the files. So load data, and then let's open the seventh slot. Should get an error, press enter on your keyboard. And here we are after school, late game. <laughs> All right, that's perfect. So as you can see, we got all our save data transferred and yeah, that's that. Now, this is also kind of a call to help to kind of figure out one thing. Um, 
So with New Game Plus save files, they do seem to carry over to the PC version from Vita. Like I carried over my New Game Plus file on my Vita version to the PC, and I do appear to have my social stats and my other things carried forward as would be on a New Game Plus playthrough. But for some reason on the PC version, uh, New Game Plus save files don't appear to have the little purple flowers on the left on the save icon that the Vita version does, which doesn't make much sense to me. So I don't know if they removed that in the PC version at all, or if that's a visual bug, so I think the real test to that is if the secret boss fight will be accessible. So if someone can access the secret boss fight on the PC version bringing over a Vita save, I think they'll confirm our theory. Or if someone just were to beat the game on New Game Plus and then get the purple save file, we can confirm that's a visual bug. I'm still working with some people on Reddit to figure that out. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that I was able to bring some of your Vita saves to the PC version.